to tell us more. Uh, Jen, it's good to see you this afternoon. Who are some of these women? Yeah, so Tim, as you mentioned, the administration has really stressed that from day one, they want to hit the ground running with a team that understands what Americans are going through. And so based on this announcement today, we're seeing how that's really starting to take shape. So a week ago, we heard about the all-female communications team that will be at the White House. Now we're hearing from the vice president-elect that she will have an all-female group of senior staff. And it's the first time that the top positions in the, in the vice president's office will be held by all women. So here's a little bit about the women who she picked. So Tina Flournoy is a black woman. She will be Harris's chief of staff. She's held several positions for decades within the Democratic Party. She's currently the chief of staff to former President Bill Clinton, and she's also spent time at the Federa American Federation of Teachers. So that will be Harris's chief of staff, adding to the women and also to the women of color. Rohini Kosoglu will be the domestic policy advisor. She has worked with Harris for a number of years. She worked in Senator Harris's office, also worked on the presidential campaign of Kamala Harris. So she will be on that team. And then rounding out the group of female senior staff is Nancy McEldowney. She was named domestic policy advisor. She has decades of experience working in foreign policy. Uh, and Senator Harris says that she will be key to helping advance Americans' interests uh, around the world. So Jen, I know you've been watching this closely, but what have been the reactions to these picks thus far? Yeah, so g generally, I think people are, are very excited about this, right? They think it's a step in the right direction, and we're seeing the administration really follow through on some of their commitments. But we are still hearing that people want to see more of this, right? I mean, it is, it is key that the people who are put in these positions then advance uh, uh, the issues surrounding uh, the communities that they come from and the communities that are, have really been struggling this The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.